Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back baby daddies, cousins, aunties, mommies, everybody who is watching. Y'all already know it's your girl Shama once again with another video. Uh, Y'all already know how I do. Before we get into anything, we have to pray to our Father dear Lord, okay? <laughs> Bow your heads, close your eyes. Lord God, we thank you right now for this opportunity. We thank you for another day, God. Lord God, we pray right now as we start on a new series and a new journey with you, Lord Father God, that you teach us in the midst of this how to utilize these things for our good, how to utilize these things for our purpose, Lord Father God. I pray for the mother on the other side of this screen, Lord Father God, that with everything that's going on today right now, Lord Father God, I pray that you continue to encourage us and lift us up, Lord Father God. Lord Jesus, regardless of what's going on around us with the world that we're living in today, Lord Father God, I pray that you continue to push that mother and push myself, Lord Father God, to continue to do what you called us to do, which is love, Lord Father God. Teach us how to take whatever is going on around us and translate that to our children in the most loving way, Lord Father God, and remind them that they're constantly loved regardless of the fact, Lord Father God. Lord Jesus, I pray for encouragement. I pray for power and strength, Lord Father God, right now for each mother and father that is endearing what's going on in this world. For we all need you right now, Lord Father God, at such a time as this, Lord Father God. And I thank you in advance for the better days that are to come, Lord Father God. In your name we pray, amen. Amen, y'all! <laughs> amen, amen. And before we get into the new series of the month, I just want to say thank you guys so much for following me with the journey of last month, which was all about purpose for the ED. And like I said, if you didn't take anything from what I said, the number one thing I want you to be able to pull what from that whole series was that you had a purpose before you even knew you had a purpose. It's not when you figured it out, when God finally revealed it to you and you, you were able to you know get some things clear in your life that it's like okay that's what it was or god said here here you go now no you were already purposed before that and i pray that, that that series blessed you as much as it blessed me i was learning right along with you guys and to be able to share you guys my journey um but if you didn't you already know what to do stop go back and run that thing back okay stop go back Hey, run that thing back out. So you already know what to do. If you didn't watch Purpose with an ED, before you even start this one, go back and watch that. I spoke all about how to find purpose and purpose block, things that distract us and take us away from our purpose. And then maybe you already got past that stage and you know what you want to do. You just need steps on to find out how to move forward. I did now what? Now what was all about giving you tips and tricks and things to figure out and tips to know what to do next now that you have your purpose in mind. And now, drum roll. You guessed it if you've been following my social media, we're talking about Mommy Funk. Man, I had to jump on this quick because Mommy Funk is a real, it's a real thing in these streets if you did not know. Mommy Funk is legit something we battle with constantly and if you think no mom battles with mommy funk it's because she's probably doing a damn good job trying to figure out how to get this thing in order okay we all have our funk we all have our good days and our bad days and i'm going to be talking about so many different kind of mommy funks that we go through but today we're focusing on how did i get here how did i get here we're talking about unexpected pregnancies y'all this is my life so before i even talk about unexpected pregnancies i just wanted to share my testimony and my journey because i am a testament of unexpected pregnancies y'all i was dating my baby daddy who is now my husband and um <laughs> i've been dating him um when i was in my senior year of high school and straight out of high school probably like a year later we unexpectedly got pregnant yeah y'all it was rough in these streets i done had my body was just acting out of whack and i'm just like you know i'm told him i think i'm pregnant and we took a test and it was positive first of all i almost died because if you don't know as of yet i am haitian okay <laughs> haitian sensation and if you know haitian parents they probably will kill you 
<laughs> but no, like all jokes aside, I am Haitian of a strong background and I didn't know what I was going to do. So I had a fear of, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Okay, so now our next step was, you know what, let's go to the hospital and see so they could confirm. So we went to the emergency room. I told them I was throwing up and I had all these different symptoms. Took a pregnancy test, boom. I was confirmed to be pregnant. Y'all know it's different when, when the doctor confirmed, it's real. <laughs> it, it, it ain't no, ain't no, no Walgreens or CVS. When the doctor said you was pregnant, you was pregnant, okay? So at that point, another fear came upon me. It was like, okay, first I gotta worry about my family, but now this fear of, I'm about to bring a child into this world. How do I provide for this child? So many fears came on me, but thank God for the journey because I was able to learn some things that I want to share with you today that helped me finding out about the unexpected pregnancies. And one of the lessons I learned is to stop and evaluate. Stopping and evaluate is number one, to communicate, to get help, and to make arrangements in your life. You have to communicate, most importantly, you have to communicate with whoever your child's father is. Yes, in some cases it's different than others. Maybe you're, you're a mom that maybe you had a one night stand in, or maybe you're a mom that the father is, was not actively, you guys weren't actively in a relationship. Or maybe you're a mom that you just so happens to get pregnant with your boyfriend, but you never spoke about these things. Um, it's still important for you to communicate to your partner because the number one thing you don't want to do is make a decision for someone else you don't want to make a decision like okay i'm just gonna handle this baby by myself and not give the person the opportunity to pick or choose what they want to do um i understand it's hard and you don't know how to break it down but also if you're not able to communicate with your partner directly the next advice i will give you the next per line of person i was talking about is your family your friends like somebody that you know could help be accountable for you and also will be your support system in this journey. You need a support system. So that's why it's important to communicate, to find someone that can relate or someone that you know, if you tell them, they'll be able to help you along this journey. Communication opens, opens a lane for a support system and also getting help. Like there's different doctors out there. Um, do your research on doctors, do your research on like, different things that you can utilize in order to help you along your journey so that you can make arrangements to be able to help you with your journey like finding a doctor if you weren't in a place financially where you're able to support your child there are so many government assistance out there and so many different programs for mothers who may not be fully financially stable to support their child and let me talk let me pause for a minute right there about supporting your child i know that there's a big like there's there's always some backlash about being on government assistance or doing finding other resources to take care of your child talking about oh you should never lay down and have the kid whatever the case may be let me tell you something about that you're pretty much saying that you're afraid to support your child because no matter what people say which they will always say because they're never satisfied no matter what people say you should never allow what other people think or maybe even yourself to get in the way of supporting your child because at the end of the day, people that are insulting you or saying whatever they want to say, they're not going to help you pay these bills. They're not going to help you buy diapers. They're not going to help you buy formula. So if you got to do what you have to do to support your child, well, so be it, sis. Do what you got to do, okay? You got to get to a point in your life where the well-being of your child outweighs your fears. And with that also, the next lesson that I've learned is to educate yourself. Educate yourself like... One of the first things that I did was downloading apps. I downloaded different apps. I was on I'm researching on Google, on YouTube about pregnancy journeys and all these different things because we have all these resources now that can help us. The most important reason why you want to be able to educate yourself is number one, you want to find out what's going on on the inside of you, okay? <laughs> Not only that, you want to find, find out what's going on on the inside of you so you can also communicate to your partner, communicate to your support system so they all are all aware where you are in your pregnancy and where you are on your journey. And <laughs> you want to save yourself some trips to the hospital, okay? Because when you first pregnant, I know me, any little thing come up on me, I'm like, ooh, 
hospital we got to go <laughs> like no certain things is just happening naturally in your body and it doing research can save you trips to your OB, okay? <laughs> it can save you trips to go into the emergency room when it's something that's just natural. So you wanna educate yourself constantly and maybe you are in a mommy funk where you're in an unexpected pregnancy. And I learned about myself more, I actually became more excited about my pregnancy. I actually became more interested in what was happening and I was just like, oh my God, babe, did you know this is that was going on, this would happen? Like, I actually became more self-aware and more excited and more present in my pregnancy and it kind of helped me to get out of my funk a bit um but most importantly the last lesson that i learned that i want you to get a grips on is that pregnancy is not the end being haitian is a real thing okay <laughs> so if you have any caribbean background we rode on the same boat <laughs> Cause listen, when you are in a place in your life where something happens unexpectedly, you will get a lot of unexpected opinions, a lot of unexpected reactions. Um, man, pregnancy is not the end. I don't want you to get wrapped up into how you feel and wrapped up into what people say or what you think people would say to dictate what your journey would look like as a mom. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged because even for me, I know when I first got pregnant, I had, after spoken, speaking to my family, I spoke to some friends and some friends gave me responses that I had not a clue in the world that I would get. I had one that said, are you stupid? Are you dumb? You don't even have a college degree. Like, what are you doing? You're throwing your life away. Now you have no life because you have to support it. I have people, like, I have people went to work on me. And it was just like, I got discouraged in that moment. And I totally forgot, like, my place as a mother. And I had to get to the place where I'm just like, no, this is not the end. This is not the end for me. And I had to find my own power. If that means eliminating people, that means, if that means eliminating people that are discouraging you, so be it. Whatever it takes for you to get to a mental place that is healthy for you and your unborn child, that's what it has to take to be. So, child, let me go ahead, shaming these kids. When they come out, you all mad and showing them pictures like, look what you did to me. No, <laughs> we can't do none of that. We can't get to a point where we're not, we're not taking the time to do the work to understand that it's not the end for us and building ourselves with strength and courage to be mothers that, you know, we, we forget that your purpose is wrapped up in your journey. So if an unexpected pregnancy is a part of the journey, believe that it's a part of the purpose. God didn't say, oh, Man, she got pregnant. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her now. No, God is not like that. I said in the video before that God is a great GPS and I'm telling you that from, and I'm a testament to that, that he is. So maybe yes, you did get pregnant. It was unexpected to you, but it was not unexpected to God. And don't allow anybody to step in your life and talk over your life. And they have no idea what it is to walk in your shoes. They have no idea what it is to support a child. They have no idea what it's going to be like to support a child. You have the journey and you have to wrap that around what you want to do with your life and yourself and your purpose with your child. So people could throw all kinds of biblical terms out there like, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a sin to get pregnant out of wedlock, which is true, absolutely. But what I want you to wrap your mind around is what you may have done is a sin, but your child is not a sin. Your child is not a cursed child just because you had a child out of wedlock but everything after that child comes out is not a sin. I need you to wrap your mind around that. Do not get caught up in what people are trying to spit out to you or religious thoughts or any of those things. God gives you grace and grace constantly and grace day in and day out. Joy comes in the morning. And mommies, if you're, if you're having an unexpected pregnancy or if you're going through the motions right now, I would encourage you to really self-evaluate where you are. See how you, what, what resources you can find or what you need to do or arrange your timing to figure out how you can be the best mom that you can be to your unborn child. 
And once you do that, edu continue to educate yourself. Continue to get yourself to a place where you understand what's going on in your body so you can communicate to those around you. And also ask your doctor questions. Ask them questions. Find the best OB that you can. Get references, look online, find out what's the best distance for you so that if anything happened, you are on board. But most importantly, it is not the end. It is the beginning to something prosperous. It's the beginning to something purposeful. It's the beginning to a new journey in your life, a new direction in your life. So don't take it as nothing else but that. So thank you for listening to me. Thank you for allowing me to share my journey and share advices and lessons that I've learned in my journey. Um, but next week, we're gonna talk about something new about mommy funk. And trust me, you want to watch that because it's something that I know we all <laughs> are dealing with right now. But until then, have a great day. Thank you for watching an episode of Mommies With Purpose. And if you have not yet done so, pause this video and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You can also follow me at Facebook or Instagram at Mommies With Purpose. And most importantly, share this video. Share it with the mommy that you think needs to hear it the most. Or even if the person is not a mommy and I said something today that resonated with you or you think may resonate with someone else, share the video. Until next time, love.